Sephora. What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience working at Ulta. Disclaimer, my experience is gonna be completely different from everyone else's experience. I was there for like a month. That should say it all. So let's get started. <laughs> Guys, I want to like do my makeup with you guys. So I'm just gonna get started. I washed my face already. I'm gonna go ahead and put my headband on. First thing I'm gonna do is apply my moisturizer. Let me start off by saying, working at Ulta, literally, Ulta and Sephora, those two were like my dream jobs. I love makeup so much. If you've felt, like been following my channel, you know, like makeup is like my life. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna meet a bunch of a bunch of baddies that love makeup too. I'm gonna get free makeup. I'm gonna get some gratis. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna get a discount. All that good stuff. I was like super hyped for it. Pay wise, it's not the worst. Definitely not. Do I think it's for somebody who has kids and bills? No, definitely not. That would not work at Ulta if you got bills to pay and kids. Cause the, it doesn't, the math it does not math when you do it. It just doesn't work. But me, I was like, no, this is my dream. Like, I can do it. Like, I can do it. No. And I start working there. I go, and I kid you not, I literally show up for training. I was supposed to be in the back training. I'm ready to learn. My location, all my managers. We're great. I, oh, good, you're, you're dressed in dress code. I'm actually gonna have you on the floor today. And I was like, huh? yeah so that was my biggest thing was like no training like thank god i had like experience but if like you didn't have experience you'd be like what what am i doing like I feel like my experience was so horrible because even as a counter manager like they didn't pay me well they didn't give me training they literally gave me all these goals and they were like here you go good luck if you need a hands-on training if you need help if you need like people to tell you like what to do and how to do it before you actually do it, they're not gonna do that for you. The next thing that really like blew my freaking mind. The management team literally sets the tone for your job. And it just, they were not it. My friend she called out because she was sick or whatever. And then the manager was like, why are you calling out? She's like, I just don't feel good, I can't come in. Oh, well that's not an excuse. And I was like, what? Like, so literally on the walkie, because we beat in Ulta, we all wore walkies so we could like talk to each other on the walk. He's like, that's not a real excuse. Take her off the schedule all next week. And literally everybody could hear it. Everybody knew who they were talking about. They didn't schedule her for a week. They took her pay away for a week because she missed a day because she was sick. Unprofessional was that to do on the walkie. Take her off the schedule. I'm like, oh. And this one girl told me she had been there like almost five years. And I was like, really? Like, they must be a good, like, if you've been here for five years, and she's like, ah, I've actually been at the same pay rate for five years. And I was like, hmm? What? What? And she's like, I don't know. I just never have talked to them about it. It's all righty. So, no wonder these managers are doing whatever they want because nobody says anything. Well, gratis. Because I know that's a big reason as to why, like, we all want to work there because who doesn't want free stuff? Like, you're working at Ulta, you get to try out free makeup like discounts when i went in for like my interview and stuff they had a huge box in the office that said gratis they were like yeah oh my gosh like when you work here you're gonna be gonna get gratis like every week like it's a dream you guys it's awesome um i didn't get any gratis for two months one of my friends he was the salon manager manager as they like to say you know they're getting paid the same as everybody else which doesn't make any sense he had been there for two years and i was like okay so i've been here for two months i'm waiting for gratis is it like a seasonal thing is this like a monthly thing like when do we get it because and he was like oh i've been here for two years i haven't got deadly squat i have not got deadly squat and i was like what me i had already seen the big box in the office as a gratis so i was like what you, what do you need i bugged my managers and the gm i was like so when do we get gratis like when you guys give it out to the bas because i noticed they're doing really good oh it's just 
CM, he has to approve it, and it's just a long process for him, so we don't bug him about it. And keep in mind, the GM is not somebody that's not there. Like, he's literally there 40, 50 hours a week. He's there almost every single day. And he just, you know, he's either just in the office, like, I'll walk in, he's in the office, like, emailing or whatever. Like, what do you have to do? Put a Sharpie through it? Scan it out, maybe? Not that much work. And I, was, I would go in the office, and then gratis box would be empty, or it would have, like, new products in it. I'm like, okay where were the products that were in there and then one day the manager office happened to be open and i had to get something out of it so i went in and in the gratis box was like a ton of gratis ton with a sharpie of all the managers names on it and i was like i see what's going on keep in mind these are the managers and they are not making hourly like all of us chumps. They're getting salary. They are getting paid. All of that. I got a new house. I got a new car. Oh, we doing this. We doing that. Why don't you just buy this now? That's what made me so freaking sick. Was these people make so much more money than us, and they're taken gratis from the beauty advisors. Like that doesn't make any sense. You make so much money. You could literally buy that if you wanted it. My last day there. Um they all walked out with bags full of it i kid you not like the reusable shopping bags that you get at, like walmart they literally walked out with a bag stuffed stuffed with it and the only reason i knew that was because i was nosy and when nobody was looking at looked in that bag and i was like that management team sucked i'm not getting paid enough for what you guys are asking and she's like oh my gosh well reviews are coming up and you're gonna get a raise and literally just like, I had been there for not even two months. You have to be there for a minimum like six months, I think, to get like a raise anywhere. And she was like, yeah, you're gonna get a raise. And when she said that, I was like, I think that night I was like looking for a different job. I was like, she just lied straight to my face. I'm gonna get a raise. No training, no gratis. Like the gratis was the biggest thing because like, if I was a manager and I had all that gratis that they had, every BA would be getting a free product at least every other day because there was plenty they were getting. Like plenty. I work at Sephora now and I am part of the management team. And they get in the gratis. Or we don't call it gratis at Sephora. We call it something different. But make up an exchange for like doing a really good job, learning about it to like, because how are you supposed to sell something you've never tried? That's my biggest thing. It's like you, we want you guys to sell. How are you gonna sell something you've never tried? So old team was horrible. My managers were horrible. The pay was horrible. The hours they just can't afford forty. I was like, girl, oh, like my boutique is understaffed. I have two out of like three or four people that should be there. How do you not have the hours for me? Hopefully, it's different at the hotel you work at or. The one in your um, area because the one over here that I worked at was like even like a couple days ago like my friend who works there was texting me she's like oh they were talking about you I was like I literally just worked there you guys and they were talking about how you worked to Sephora, you went to Sephora and they were like yeah well if she thinks the grass is greener on the other side and it is green the grass is literally green the grass is so wonderful it's pink over here okay like it is as far as unmatched if you have your choice between ulta well ulti or sephora and the grass is burnt over there oh, at that location yes, it was ugh. Ugh. yeah ulta doesn't pay the worst. Pretty sure it pays the same as Taco Bell. I <sighs> have two kids. Like, you just can't live, like, off of nothing anymore. Like, people don't understand that. Like, gas is going up, rent's going up. The economy is crashing. But the pay doesn't go up. I don't know. It doesn't make no sense. I literally pray that your experience with Ulta, if you do want to work there, is so much better than mine. And I don't even know if Ulta had values or morals. 
I feel like if my manager team had been different, my experience would have gone so much better. I feel like if I had different managers, it would have been a way different experience, but because my managers were the way that they were, they were greedy, they were all that stuff. So that was my experience. Yeah, I knew everything to say like in the interview process. Like if you do want like a video on how to get a job at Ulta because practically got hired on the spot, I can totally make that video for you guys so you guys know exactly what to say and you still want to try Ulta out because of course your location may be different. That was my experience. It was an experience. It was an experience. The grass was not green. The, um, the, grass was, the grass was dead. So thank God for that because now I have, um, I have an amazing job. It's for I love it. Love my team. Love my location. It's awesome. Yeah, so shout out to you guys at Ulta. A natural moment. <laughs> Come to support. Well, you guys have a really amazing day. If you're gonna apply for Ulta, I'll pray for you. I'll keep you in my prayers. Good luck. Um, hopefully your experience is better. Your experience is what you're gonna make it. So if it's management team sucks, try to make the best of it. Just kiss everybody's butt a little bit. Just make sure that they like you. Pay, management no free stuff yeah all right guys have a wonderful day go ahead and subscribe because i haven't made a youtube video in a minute but i'll be back to do more probably gonna make one right now actually but yeah um instagram is cakeface tay youtube subscribe tiktok cakeface tay same handles my youtube same handles my instagram yeah, that's it. Bye, guys.